Hey, grace and peace. Welcome to Find the Intersection. My name is Paul Desay. Today is Monday, which means we do the gospel passage uh, for the week. And we're focusing today on Luke chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. Uh, Luke chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. If you haven't read this passage yet, check it out. Read a couple translations. Uh, so let's talk about a little bit. The context here, literary context within the gospel of Luke, if you look at the stories that preceded story after it, it, it is set in the context of protection, safety, and security, and where do we put our trust? Uh, and so that is kind of the overarching idea behind this week's passage is who do we trust and where do we put our trust? Uh, a few things that stood out to me this morning as I read the text. Uh, number one, the, the motivation of the guy in the crowd who asks the question uh, about inheritance is that of greed. And so Jesus responds to this guy's request. The request is, teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. So Jesus responds by saying, friend, who set me to be a judge or arbitrator over you? And then he said to them, take care, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. So this guy who's making the request wants justification for his own behavior or what he thinks is the right way. Tell my brother to split the inheritance. So it's motivated by greed. Uh, then Jesus tells a parable. And so the second thing that stood out to me is this character, uh, the rich fool. And so the rich fool is building up wealth in storehouses to, to, to hold the abundance of his blessings. And uh, this is not a passage um, against saving or celebrating the blessings. But what this passage is uh, communicating is this rich guy, this rich fool, has his identity mixed up. It's not in wealth. His identity, true identity, is that of a child of God. And that's the way with us. And see, we put our trust into places and to people based upon our identity. So if we are truly children of God, um, we are beloved children of God, then we will put our trust in our Heavenly Father. If we believe that our identity is an accumulator, then we will put our trust in material possessions and wealth. And so this rich fool is confronted with the reality in the parable that he's going to die, which is the third thing. Um, you know, death is an inevitable. And, I, you know, we don't know, no one knows what how many days we have left. Uh, but where we choose to put our trust is what we worship or who we worship. Uh, and so death is a reality that uh, limits our lifespan and puts uh, urgency into today. And so the question that I wrestled with this morning is, to whom am I putting my trust? Um, and is my trust in Jesus for my safety and my security, or is my trust in wealth and accumulation? Um, and, that, and therefore, that's who I'm worshiping, Jesus or greed. So anyway, that's what I got. What did you get? Share your thoughts in the comments. Let's learn from one another. Grace and peace, everyone. I will see you tomorrow as we continue our discussion in Colossians. Take care, everyone.